Picture yourself on a shoreline, tossing a message in a bottle into the vast ocean, not knowing who will find it or when. In 1977, humanity did just that. We launched Voyager 1, not just as a machine, but as a messenger to the cosmos. Its main mission explored Jupiter and Saturn, sending back images that transformed our understanding of the solar system. But Voyager 1 had a grander purpose to keep going, to leave our solar system, and to become our first emissary to the stars. On board, it carried the Golden Record, a time capsule of Earth's sounds, music, greetings in 55 languages, and images of life on our planet. This was our hopeful gesture to the universe. We exist. This is our home. The odds of it being found are tiny, but the act of sending it speaks to our curiosity and desire to connect. Voyager 1 used gravity assists from giant planets, slingshotting itself to incredible speeds, fast enough to escape the sun's pull. After its breathtaking encounters with Jupiter and Saturn, its true journey began, heading for the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space. This small probe became our eyes and ears in the deep dark, carrying the story of a blue world full of life and hope. Voyager 1 is a testament to our ingenuity and our drive to explore. It's not enough for us to wonder about the stars. We have to reach for them. Voyager 1 sails onward silently into the cosmic night. It carries a piece of us, a symbol of our species' unyielding quest to understand our place in the universe. Its journey is our journey. We cast our message into the cosmic ocean, not knowing who will answer. But in doing so we declare, we are here, and we are explorers. Voyager 1 is our message in a bottle sent to the stars. Its voyage is eternal, and so is our hope. The story of Voyager is the story of us, reaching beyond the horizon. The edge of our solar system isn't a clear line, it's a boundary defined by the sun's influence. The sun sends out a constant stream of charged particles, the solar wind, creating a protective bubble called the heliosphere. This bubble shields us from harsh cosmic radiation. The true edge is where the solar wind can no longer push back against the interstellar medium the thin gas and dust between stars. This boundary is called the heliopause. Crossing it means leaving the sun's direct influence and entering the galaxy's open ocean. It's not just about distance, but a dramatic change in environment. Inside the heliosphere, particles and magnetic fields come from our sun. Outside, they originate from other stars and ancient supernovae. Voyager 1's mission to cross this frontier and sample the galactic environment for the first time. The heliosphere acts as a giant shield deflecting dangerous cosmic rays and making life on Earth possible. Understanding this shield is crucial to understanding our place in the universe. Voyager 1 wasn't just exploring space, it was investigating the very structure that protects us. It ventured to the wall of our cosmic home to see what lay beyond. The edge is a dynamic, vital frontier, not just a distant point in space. Voyager's crossing would reveal the true nature of our solar system's boundary, and it would change our understanding forever. Voyager 1's journey spans nearly half a century and over 24 billion kilometers. Communicating with it is like hearing a whisper from across a continent. Signals take nearly two days for a round trip. Its path was a grand tour past Jupiter's volcanic moons, Saturn's rings, and then out of the planetary plane toward interstellar space. For decades, it sailed through the vast, empty reaches of the heliosphere, sending back data about the farthest edges of the Sun's domain. Voyager became our most distant outpost, a lonely sentinel powered by a nuclear battery built to last. As the years passed, the team on Earth changed, but the probe pressed on, relentless in its pursuit of the unknown. It measured solar wind, magnetic fields, and particles, painting a picture of the solar system's outermost frontier. Voyager's journey is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. It carries our hopes and curiosity into the darkness, and it continues silently into the unknown. Before Voyager 1 reached the edge, scientists imagined the heliopause as a smooth, clear boundary. Theories predicted a gentle transition, solar wind slowing, magnetic fields connecting neatly, and a sharp swap from solar to galactic particles. Instruments were primed to detect this moment, a clear signal that we'd arrived at the edge. We expected a majestic, simple boundary, like a river meeting a calm lake. But the universe had other plans. The edge was not calm or orderly. It was stranger, more complex, and far more wonderful than we ever imagined. Voyager was about to reveal just how little we truly knew. In 2012, Voyager 1's data began to defy expectations. Solar particles dropped and galactic cosmic rays rose, signs of nearing the boundary. But the magnetic field didn't change direction as predicted, it still pointed like the sun's. 
It was as if Voyager was in two places at once. Particle data said interstellar space, but the magnetic field said still home. The science team debated, had it crossed or not? The answer came from plasma measurements. Voyager's plasma sensor was broken, but engineers used its plasma wave antennas to detect vibrations from a distant solar flare. The result? Plasma density 40 times higher than before, evidence of the interstellar medium. By tracing the data, scientists pinpointed the crossing, August 25, 2012. Voyager 1 had slipped out of the sun's bubble and into the galaxy. The discovery was monumental, but it shattered the simple picture we'd held for decades. The boundary was not a wall, but a complex, messy region. The magnetic field's behavior was a mystery. Voyager's crossing opened a new era of questions. The edge of our solar system was far stranger than we'd ever imagined, and Voyager was the first to witness it. Voyager 1 found the edge of our solar system to be a turbulent, dynamic frontier. Even after entering interstellar space, the magnetic field still aligned with the suns, like stepping outside but dragging the front door with you. The boundary wasn't a clean break, but a frothy, swirling zone where solar and galactic fields tangled. Particles from both realms mingled in a magnetic highway, a waiting room between two worlds. The heliopause was not an impenetrable wall, but a permeable, shifting frontier. This discovery forced us to rethink everything. The edge is alive, constantly shaped by galactic winds. Voyager didn't just confirm our theories, it broke them, revealing a far more fascinating reality. The universe is rarely simple, but always more magnificent, and Voyager 1 showed us just how complex our cosmic home truly is. Voyager's discoveries forced us to rewrite the textbooks. The heliopause is now seen as a vast, turbulent zone, possibly millions of kilometers thick. The sun's magnetic field drapes around the heliosphere, creating a complex shield, not a simple boundary. New models suggest the heliosphere might be shaped like a croissant or a sphere, not a comet. With only two data points, Voyager 1 and 2, we're just beginning to understand this frontier. Science thrives on challenge and revision, and Voyager's journey is the ultimate reality check. It's not about confirming what we know, but discovering what we never imagined. Voyager expanded the landscape of human knowledge, forever changing our view of home. Why does Voyager 1 matter? Because it embodies our drive to explore. It's our robotic proxy, venturing into the cosmic ocean, satisfying our curiosity and expanding our perspective. Its discoveries reshaped our understanding of the solar system's protective bubble and our place in the galaxy. Voyager's golden record carries a message of peace and unity, a hopeful vision of humanity. Soon its power will fade and it will fall silent, but its journey will continue for thousands of years. Voyager is a testament to our desire to reach out, to learn, and to be part of something greater. It's a symbol of our endless quest for knowledge, a piece of us wandering among the stars. Voyager 1 is, and always will be, our message in a bottle sent to the cosmos. Its voyage is eternal, and so is our hope. The story of Voyager is the story of us, reaching for the stars.